Grand Rising, everyone. Um, <laughs> um, you know, I'm working or whatever, but I wanted to drop in real quick. Um, I just started following Zen Wombs, and oh my God, I love her. Um, opened my eyes to a lot of stuff, you know, like I'm new to this journey. I'm not new to this journey, but it always feels new because there's so much I don't know. Um, but she opened my eyes to a lot of things. So I do definitely recommend, um, going to Zen Wombs. I um, meditated eight. Uh, I did do it last night. It was my first time doing it eight year time and it was awesome. It really was awesome. Um, to, to think about all of the collective at one time and one point, um, meditating on the same thing with the, uh, with the same focus. It was definitely awesome. Um, she did the video I watched yesterday. She was talking about, um, how the women need to get back on their throne. Like it's, there's no way around it. And it was amazing. Like everything she was saying, I, it just resonated on, on so many levels. It made so much sense to me. Um, especially the part when she talked about, how the men should be Skylers, but the women are oracles. That resonated with me because I've always had just this feeling of knowing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just know. Like, I just know what's about to happen. I just know. I see what's about to happen or what's about to be said. But society and, you know what I'm saying, our, the way we were raised has taught us to ignore that, that you have to trust in the outside, trust in your teachers, trust in, in your preachers, trust in, in your religion, trust in your mom, trust in your dad, trust in your partner, not trust in yourself, right? So when she said that we are the oracles and, and we have to get back to being that and just knowing and believing and having the confidence and to trusting ourselves, you know what I'm saying, that we need to do that. And it resonated with me so much because she's right. I know I know when someone is right for me and not, or not, and I may ignore it, or I know when something bad is about to happen, or I know when something good is about to happen, and I have a tendency to ignore that because I've been taught to, right? So, you know, I just want to jump on here to say go follow and subscribe to her page, guys, because, um, like, I'm new to her page, so I've been doing a lot of binge watching, you know what I'm saying, just kind of catching back up, catching up with with some of the the uh, lectures or messages she she's she's downloaded to you know to us and made available for us. So, um, if you like me and you're new to this and and you know what I'm saying you have your own gifts because we all have our own gifts. You have your own gifts, but you're still trying to figure this this out like the rest of us. Then I would definitely recommend going to follow her. Um, Rashad Jamal is someone else I do follow because you know his his lectures are different. He's very passionate about what he say, but there's always truth there. You know, people have a tendency that if someone says one thing that don't you don't agree with you or you, that, you, that you don't resonate with, you shut out everything else they said. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? You got to know how to get the breadcrumbs to make the loaf, um, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Just just follow these people, get whatever messages, because we're we're all on a journey to try to figure this out, figure out what we need to do. Another thing that she did, um, say that, that, that resonated with me was, um, now is the time. Like before I did, I lack the confidence to do what I'm doing. Like if you do ever decide to subscribe to my page, you'll see, like I made a video and then two, three months later, you may see another video. The reason being is cause I didn't have confidence. Like I'm like, all these people know so much, like what do I look like coming on here? You know what I'm saying? But then I thought about it. there's other people like me who are still searching. Um, we have a little bit of information. We, we feel these certain things. We see these certain things. We have these certain gifts, but you know what I'm saying? What do we do with it? We just sitting on it. But she, she said, that's because if you were, that wasn't your time. Now is our time. Now is our time to start collecting together, coming together, becoming as one, you know what I'm saying? With one main focus, because they are trying to take us out. You know what I'm saying? Like I, it's hard for me not to see because I see now, but for the ones who are still sleep unconsciously aware of what's going on like now is the time that we supposed to be 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 waking you guys up um so i after i meditated and prayed last night um 
this is what message or download I got. You have some people that no matter what, they feel like they're supposed to bring people with them, right? You know, and you have those ones that's like, man, don't worry about that person. You can't bring them. You know what I'm saying? Worry about yourself. Get yourself out. Duh, duh, duh. And no matter how hard you try to say, fuck everybody, right? No matter how hard you try, you want to be like that person that can say, fuck everybody. You want to be able to just say, bump those people. Duh, 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 duh. Like, I'm, I'm only worried about me. I'm going by me. And then you start getting into motion, but then you want to bring your best friend or your mom or your dad. That I received the message last night that's because you were chosen to bring the people back to source back to spirit back to god back to the most high you are sent here to do that that is why you always feel like you have to bring somebody with you because you're supposed to now don't get it twisted yes you have to use your discernment everybody can't go but you are called to bring the people back that is why you can't shed that. No matter how hard you're trying to shed that, to 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 say fuck everybody. You're trying so hard to do it, but you just can't. Because it's something in your soul saying, no, you got to bring the people. You got to bring the people. And that's what you've been doing. We've just been going about it the wrong way. We've been trying to bring the wrong people. We all have to come back to source. Let's do that. Let's do that. Like, um, I believe in us. I have faith in us. I, I, it's a beautiful time. Right now, I see the beauty in, in, in the destruction and the pain. I don't want to say the chaos because, you know, to me, it's not chaos. This is destruction, but there's still beauty in it. You know what I'm saying? Because I see more and more people becoming entrepreneurs. I see more and more people opening up. I see more and more people connecting together with people across the world that have like minds. You know what I'm saying? They make us feel like we're the minority, but we are not the minority. You know what I'm saying? It's more of us than it is of them. They don't want you to know that. I'm not going to be out here long. You know, I just want to jump in to say that go follow Zen Wombs. Uh, amazing. You know what I'm saying? Her messages are amazing. I'm still catching up on a lot of her videos. Um, but I do, I, that is someone who I have started following lately. She even said, stop researching spirituality. That hit me so hard because she's right. Like we do all this research, you know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with researching to know, you know what I'm saying? But trust your intuition, trust yourself, trust your soul. And I had to be reminded of when I did that, when I first started and I would get candles. I didn't know. I didn't even know I was supposed to get candles. Some said get candles. Okay, I got candles. You know, I've seen it. Okay, I've seen people do, you know what I'm saying, candles, you know, movies, whatever candles. I got the candles. But I didn't know what each color meant. I was like, well, this don't mean this, this don't mean this, I'm going to use this for this, 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 this. You know what I'm saying? I just went with trusting myself. And when I did that... A little later, I found, um, I think it was either online or somewhere where it broke down, you know, what each color was, what you would use for each color. And I was right. But I was only right because I trusted myself, right? Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. You know already. You know already. And especially if time doesn't exist and you've seen it already, you, we just forget we have. But um, I did want to jump in here to give a shout out to Zen um, Wounds, uh, Sika. Like, I, I honestly appreciate your messages. Like, for the past day and a half, maybe two days, I've been going through um, catching up on your channel because I am new to it. And it's crazy because that's how you know the algorithm is working, right? Because when I first started following you, like, two, three days ago... Um, I think you were at, like, six, maybe 8,000 viewers or subscribers... But I guess the same way you came across my my um feed, other people, because now it was like up to 12,000. When I looked yesterday, her subscribers were up to like 12,400. I can only imagine what it's going to be today. But um, I did want to jump on here, especially for the, the women. The, um, the way she talks about the womb and the creation and all of that, like it empowered me because I feel like they have cut our heads off. Right? Like, you know, they always say the man is the head of the household. So by doing that, that cut the true head off, which is us. You cannot come into this world without coming through the womb of a woman. That is the portal of bringing a soul to the physical. I don't understand why most people don't understand that. You cannot 
come into this world without coming through her womb. But hey, you know, just jumping on here to say that. Check her out. Meditated eight. Um, if I can remember right, how we start off, how she wanted to start off the um the meditation is we remove all disagreeable energies and entities. All disagreeable energies and entities from our government system society across the world. And then from there, add what you want to add to it. So at eight, your time. Um, and I love that because that means that gives it more time. That's two, three hours of consistent focused on one thing because I'm in Eastern time. So I, it's eight here before it's eight in California, Arizona. So if my, everyone on Easter time is doing it at their eight, then, then central, then West, you know what I'm saying? Like th that's, that's a lot of time for a, a collective to focus on one thing. We remove all disagreeable energies and entities from our government system across the world. Follow her page, subscribe to her, look through her videos. Um, she is awesome. Um, I'll be back <laughs> if I have something else to say. You know, I'll be back. I'm bi I'm working on my confidence. I'm building it up. If you feel like you can vibe with me, if you feel like you understand, you know what I'm saying, where I'm coming from, you feel the same. Sometimes you just don't know. Let's do this together. You know what I'm saying? Drop in. Let me know how you feel about certain things. Some of the things you've noticed. Some of the things you've learned. Let's converse about it. Because, again, it's us. Like, we got to do this together, guys. I look forward to meeting you, seeing you, joining with you, family. Like, we, you know what I'm saying? One love for real. Love you. See you later.